What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the Game Radio here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Saga Log. Hopefully, y'all are having a splendid day. Um, today, we have some fun stuff going on. Okay, so, one, we're going to go meet Haxa Probable Pass real quick. I did heal. I did do the things that I needed to do before this episode, so don't worry. We had this cutscene. It was fine. I got the item that was an EV lead. It was a stupid Pattaya Berry. It's okay. We got everything. It's chill. We even got the Zygarde cube that was over there, so we can get our static Zygarde later on in the series. Um, it's not actually going to be a Zygarde. It's going to be something else. But let's going to be Hax Probo Pass. What is he going to tell us? He's going to be like, oh my god, by the way, you got to fight Olivia coming up. Yes. And I'm like, no. Uh, no. Let's not. And say so we did. I like that. I like that. I like the let's not do that and say so we did get our encounter and be moving on. Because uh, we have a stupid, already stupid, scary totem anyway, right after that. So, And we have another six We have two six musicus and a stupid terror stupid scary totem so no also thank you for the max pusher um but the stone emporium is what this is and they don't have a moonstone guess what but they have fossils i think i can just straight up buy <laughs> i'm dumb <laughs> so yes you can buy these but also you know how i just said oh you can buy fossils that's dress apparel wait can you not is that an ultra sun and ultra moon thing oh my god it might be an ultra sun and ultra moon thing oh no it's not okay so we have we've had the armor fossil before we have not had the plume one but the armor fossil was dino you want to give me 7,000 for a new Pokemon? Yes, of course. We're going to go get it because we got encounters anyways. Yeah, I'm glad I paid attention. I was like, I remembered the armor fossil because it was Dino. Actually, will it tell me? I don't even have Dino on the team. What am I doing? Nothing, apparently, because my brain does not want to function. But... If we use Charizard Glide, Charizard Glide will say, hey, by the way, this is where you're supposed to go next, which is perfect. So we're going to go to Route 8, get our encounter, and then see if it'll tell me if it was from the armor fossil or not. We might have to make this trip twice, so I'm, so I'm sorry. But I don't, I think it does, I think it does, I think it does say, it'll either say a route that you got it on, and I really hope it doesn't say that, because that would be ridiculous. But Dino... Summary, please just say that you're from a freaking... No, nope, it just tells you the route it was on. Gosh, diggity darn it. Also, you know one thing I didn't think about? Is that, yes, both these Dinos are the same. And I think I really... But they have a different uh, nature. The one we got first is better. But, you know, it. I mean, that only really makes sense. Okay, so it just says a route. It doesn't actually say that they're from X Fossil. But I swear that it's from the Armor Fossil. I'm like, I know we did not get a Plume one. I know that one for a fact. It's just the armor fossil, like I said, I swore that that was Dino. I would not be willing to bet on it, but I swore it was Dino. Plume fossil. I know that we haven't gotten this, though. It's a kitty cat. Oh, no. It's just the sound of an archer. Okay. Ooh. That's not bad. Not bad. To have a possible ability of a Komo'o on the team? Yes. I'm going to name you... Reggie. Reggie. That's a good name for you. What is your summary, Reggie? You have Multi-Type and the Galileite. Neither of which matter. Good job, us. Honestly, to be fair, I'm okay with that. Because, again, if it doesn't matter, then it's totally fine to evolve it. Um without any you don't have any hesitancy when doing such and it's it's so nice to not have to feel like you're being hesitant and worried about x y z a b d a f g like all the above because it's like ever worry you're much yeah of course duh that's literally me we know this already guys we we know that i'm an over worrier so if i don't have to worry i don't have to worry it's great um anyways <laughs> um we're going to get a Route 9 encounter now, too, because why not? And hopefully we get a moon. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I said we're going to have to take multiple trips, guys? Woo! I actually think we have this possible, but we're going to have to go back anyway to make sure. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> that would happen though. Oh crap. I gotta hit the button. We're fishing. <laughs> I'm glad that it gave me grace. It usually doesn't. Hey, it's Snuggle Bop. We'll take a Snuggle Bop. Also, if you guys don't know what the heck I mean by, oh my gosh, it's Snuggle Bop, um, then you have not watched the farm vlog, and how dare you? Link is in the description below, so you can watch that as we. We critical captured a Snuggle Bop. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's what we waste our critical capture. No, honestly, Snuggle Bob just went and Z snapped y'all to go watch the farm log. That's what happened. Obviously, we're naming it Snuggle Bob. Okay, Snuggle. Watch Snuggle Bob actually have a really good ability. Marble scale. You know what? That's not bad. And you know what? A good nature too. I'll take it. I'll take it. Mixed attacker. I'm okay with a mixed attacking snuggle bop. Um, that's not a bad Pokemon. Honestly. Straight up. I'm actually very proud of that Pokemon. So. I just love the fact that snuggle bop of all Pokemon decided I'm going to be this way. In true snuggle bop fashion. Snuggle bop wanted to do what a snuggle bop wants to do. That's how snuggle bops operate. You guys, if you guys didn't know how snuggle bops operate, how dare you? Power anklet. That's not of use. Now, level thirty is our um, our thirty one. Excuse me, is the level of Olivia. So Olivia is gonna have a level thirty one. And honestly, not a bad idea. Not a bad thing. I almost went into Quivarius. I was like, Quivarius, you got this, buddy. No, Quivarius doesn't, John. Quivarius does not have a steel type move yet. Unlucky, but it does that's not the case. You know what would be crazy though? Uh, this Clefairy died anyway in one shot because freaking magic is god tier. Um, no, honestly, like I don't know what to do with this team. This team is like, this team is something, and I don't necessarily know how to deal. And what to do to deal with it. Because honestly, I love this team a lot. But this energy is about to be broken. It's gotta be, right? Like, it's it's coming up on this weird thing. Where I, I honestly, I assumed that... Ooh, Hex, who's learning that? I'm getting rid of Cycle Cut. I like having an option of 130 base power if it's paralyzed or has any problems or status ailments or anything. And if I have toxic spikes or something, then I can combo those two. Oh, but this thing's physical attack is a lot better than it's special, though. Mm. Huh. Psychic is helping me out against what exactly? Fighting? Which I have a flyer for now. What else is Psychic super effective against? Poison? Uh, which I have a Steel type for. Yeah, no. Hex is better. Hex is much better. And we can kind of hopefully get a move that helps with the special attack. like because then we will have a move that's 90 base power at all times or 80 or whatever i think it's 80 80 base power at all times and then we'll have 130 base power nuke if we need to use it if it's uh like poison paralyzed etc um i just think that's the best play possible oh nice i didn't think we got item there so that's that's that was cool Oh, shoot. Does every grave have a hidden item? Don't need to be attacked by the grandma. Let's not get attacked by the grandma today. Okay. No, that's not the case. Okay. I just kind of got lucky. Okay. I got lucky and just went to the two ones that had it. Okay, cool. That makes me actually feel a lot better. Okay. Walk away, grandma. Nice. I'm going to probably get my encounter. Oh, I did not. Nice. A rock fence. Ugh. I'll probably get my encounter than this grass. This grass feels lucky. Well, we're not going to get the encounter in that grass. Okay, that's fine. TBH, that's totally fine. Oh, boy. 
crap. I knew it was going to happen. I was trying to avoid her, but... Oh my god, she got champion music. Let's go! Let's go! Sayori! Um, yeah. Oh, I should probably... I'm not even ready for work. I'm not even in the right attire for work. Well, it's fine. It's okay. I, I definitely came prepared for this situation in all due respect. No, I didn't. Why, why would I ever come prepared for something? Let's be 100% honest. Me? Prepared? Absolutely not. This just doesn't happen. We know this already. We we we, we well know this already. <laughs> um, okay, well, we gotta get our encounter, though. So hopefully it's a pretty quick and simple, easy encounter. Or not. Or we'll just get yellow nectar that does nothing for us here. There we go. There's our encounter. Took us long enough. Um, ooh. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Bye. Emogul, um, Emoga, I don't really care. You're not worth it to me. Quite frankly. I hate to say it. It's true, though. Oh, I would have loved that. I would have loved that. That's one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. Ugh. Why, Emogul? We had to get one of my least favorite when I could have had one of my favorites. That's how this works, but. Ooh. More, more power points. Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna not gonna be not okay with it. Gosh dang it! I, I do watch. We're gonna get some shiny, which we already have one on the team. But like, honest, honestly, I think I've had my fill of shinies now with just the one. But still, though. Okay. Yeah, let's keep up. Let's keep up the good work. Blah 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 blah. It's double trouble, guys. No. What does this matter? Jonas, this does not matter. Okay. <laughs> I believe it's just one-on-ones, which is okay. Yeah, one-on-ones. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Elected. Yes. Uh, definitely something that I'm weak to. Yeah. Good thing we have no guards, so this doesn't actually matter. Aqua Tail, dude, no guard is actually ridiculous, though. Like, again, you can just do... <laughs> I almost got kicked in the face for saying that. Wow. Um. So, yeah, magic is susceptible, as you guys just figured that out. Oh, my gosh a focus sash no if i actually would have lost to a focus sash i would have been i would have been above and beyond angry okay because it's a focus sash it's nothing that you can predict it's like oh by the way i have a focus sash i was ready for the freaking counter focus sash into a counter and just be like you're dead and i would have been like yes the second mon that i've lost to this in a row woo Y'all don't even know where the first one's from, but you'll find out. You'll find out because, oh my god, triggering. It is. When you lose to something out of your control, that's what's triggering. That's what I mean by that. It's not like, because it, when it's out of your control like that, it's like, bruh. Like, really? Like, there's a difference between making a stupid play and getting dunked on. <laughs> like, th there's a big difference, okay? Making a stupid play, it's your fault. You deserve it. But when you get dunked on, you're just like, bruh. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. That's actually a really good way to put it. Because, it's like, there's a big difference between the two. I think we actually get another encounter, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah, the outskirts. I knew it. I was like, I swear we get another encounter. Okay. I hope we don't get it here, though. Nice. We, that's what I'm going to say, though. We have done a great job. Um, so magic. How would you like to be super effective against, um, ground? Oh, my God. You actually can learn it. Yo! I actually didn't know that you, yes! I was like, it's by water. It's probably going to be something that magic can learn. Let's go! <laughs> 120. Stronger than earthquake. Yes, magic. Get it. 
Get it, Magic. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This moveset is actually ridiculous. I could get rid of Fly. I could actually get rid of Fly. I'm doing it. Bye, Fly. I don't care about you. You're two turn Merv. Two turn. Two turn Merv. A two turn move. That is actually dangerous when it comes to this. And I don't need... Yes! Oh my gosh, that felt so good. That felt so good. So freaking good. Okay. Wow. Okay, so now Magic has uh, Stronger Than Earthquake. <laughs> okay, come on, game. What are we going to get in our encounter? the foreshadowing the foreshadowing okay wow okay i was that was that was extreme measures of foreshadowing um i'm gonna go into quivarius though again i trust quivarius to do this this is where i trust quivarius is in the catching department when i know that i can't like actually use a quick ball on it speed is harshly dropped I'm going to go ahead and chuck a nest ball at it first. That'll be my first ball that I chuck at it. I mean, because this is a mega, dude. Like, you can't just deny that this is a tough Pokemon. Like, this is a uh, toughie. It's not going to be easy. It's got hail. It's got a bunch of things. Don't we have Ice Body? No, we don't. Somebody has Ice Body, I thought. But somebody, it might be somebody that's not on the team right now. Um... Pokemon in the water. Do I want to go for Judgment? It is a pretty low level discrepancy. So it might not be the worst idea. Or we just do that. That's fine too. I mean, honestly, that's, that's fine too. I'm not going to not, I'm not going to just say no to that. Like if you want to do that, uh, that's fine. Galalee, that's a mega. Yes, Glalie. Oh, there's no winky fags. I'm actually saddened by that. I can't do a winky face. Whatever, fine. <laughs> Telepathy. Uh, it has Frost Breath, which it did not reveal to us, but it revealed in Powder Snow, which. <sighs> Powder Snow is not that big of a deal. It's whatever. But Frost Breath, the auto crater move, is back in, back in action, so. But yeah, so I know this was a shorter episode, but honestly, in the next episode, my thought process is, well, to get this, and it's also to go ahead and um, we have Plumeria. Olivia and extremely scary totem back to back to back. It's gonna be a hard-hitting episode It's gonna be one of those that I was like, uh, I don't know how to feel about this situation But like also I couldn't just not do that because freaking of course um, Work exists and if this was my full-time job which you could make it my full-time job by liking subscribing and being there for me um and sharing it to your friends and all of that other things then you know i'd be able to finish this how but <laughs> gets rid of a flying type move needs said flying type move yep that sounds about right that sounds right up our alley guys <laughs> it's fine we have clovarius it doesn't really matter but still it's kind of funny as soon as we get rid of the fly move is when we actually need the fly move But yeah, sorry for the yawn. But we'll see you guys in the next episode when we go ahead and take on the group.
the big group of big scares. Um, who are you most threatened by? Um, who do you think is going to cause the most damage? Honestly, my guess is the totem. Because for some reason, the totem, this, this specific totem, it's the third totem and this one are usually always the most annoying. Especially because this one's supposed to be a guaranteed legendary. So, we'll find out what next episode has in store. But like I said, probably nothing good. Um, and hopefully we can just see that. That looks like hidden items, so I'm going to go get it. But yeah. Love y'all.